Now, after a hard-fought match against Grandmaster John Ayedu in round 17, Ghana star Charles Taki Menson walked away from, uh, of course, the competition with a top prize of 1 million naira and a prestigious Lekki Scrabble Classic title. And the competition featured notable players including African champions Inna Kunwari and West African champion Timile Indoko, Panasa President's Cup winner Godwin Victor. And Taki Menson uh, ultimately finished Division A with 14 wins, solidifying his name as uh, one of Africa's premier Scrabble tournament uh, uh, stars. In Division B, a, tra a dramatic finish unfolded as Babatunde Adeagbo, who had led much of the tournament, stumbled in Round 18, as Babatunde Alagbada snatched the title with a cumulative score of 1,032, edging out Adeagbo, who finished with 871 points, despite both players having 14 wins. And present at the closing ceremony is former Guinness Book of World Record holder Hilda Bansi, who is an avid fan who participated in the exhibition match. And uh, we also have a Scrabble boy that I would like to present to you. So thank you very much. Ghana is happy over there. Uh, but then uh, it puts pressure on me. You know, I don't think, I, I don't know whether after Las Vegas you, you talk to me and I was saying that um, now there's more pressure on my shoulders because uh, being eighth in the world, uh, everybody will expect that the West African Championships will do well and then uh, subsequently the African Championships. But then um, I've always said that um, you can go to the top of the mountain but to stay there it's quite difficult well uh, i'm happy this has happened uh, so it means i'm a bit consistent I, I hope to carry this form to rwanda and uh, if it goes like this uh, i'm going to win the african championships no not really it just shows that we have a little of, of work to be done before the tournament which is just a month away you know and we are up to the tax and i believe in nigeria is going to win it at kigali if the followers known he has always been in the corridors of power in fact he has come to live in nigeria for a year before so he understands how hard nigeria's cabo he wanted